so you obviously have really close dance friends yes. who besides me and loyla because like we're like a, we're tight yeah we're tight like that yeah. um would you say it's like your person at the studio okay so you have been at project this is your seventh year now which yes. is crazy you've stayed since literally season three yeah what has that been like for you like staying so long grayson like fully like went on the chair oh you <laughs> took out your hair and i got the aerial yeah like she was doing some wild <laughs> stuff in the studio <laughs> and i remember how there was like a whole like a bar of just like candy and like me and, wait it was like me i think it was me and katie and, like we got in trouble because we were just eating candy yeah it like does i feel like hard. i can't even imagine being you and, and so like me and kids were like in the middle you know and, and we, we have a duet. duet ladies and gentlemen may i have your attention please Hey guys, welcome back to Stop Talking Kens, episode 17. I have a very special guest today, Grayson French. (laughs) I'm literally like so honored because I just love Grayson so much. And it's like about time that she came on my podcast. Like I've been waiting and like begging her. And we both are like really going through it because we just got done with the really long rehearsal weekend. So, and we're filming this, but like you got to do what you got to do. Got it what we got it yeah we got it (laughs) we got it okay let's just jump right in okay so how did you how did your dance journey start where did it all start i started when i was around two to three years old and me and my sister we always would dance at home together so my mom just decided to put us in a dance class and we i've done many sports though really yes like i did swimming what i did swimming tennis and soccer and are you good yeah i was pretty good at swimming swimming yeah i was good at swimming (laughs) (laughs) but dance was like my favorite thing to do so i just continued with it yeah Yeah. when do you feel like what age were you like really competitive and like really got into it like seriously i would say when i came to probably 21 so when i was like eight i feel like i really got into it yeah guys we went to project together many yes. moons ago a yes. really long time like grayson was literally like eight like yeah. she didn't know anything like no, i I, did not. I remember sitting at our awards and then she got like stop the clock whatever and you literally were asking everyone like what like, does what that, that mean that? like she literally would be like what does that mean like everyone was like grayson like that's so good and she was like i don't know like i'm so confused like that's literally how it went your yeah, first year it like it was so, so funny yeah and like now just like looking back at like all the combos that grayson and the twins did like it was so like yeah, we have so many videos with them and they're like, like so little like yes. all three of them they literally look like blonde like little like it's so yeah. weird it's actually so weird was project the first studio you like competed with no um when i was around t- when i was around two to three years old i went to this place called on point i competed at i think four was my first like i had a recital but when i actually competed that was like five years old you competed a solo at five <laughs> yes oh my god i know when actually like 10 10 <laughs> not five was yeah, your was first five. solo jazz yeah it was jazz really yeah wow i think it was wait it had to do with i think it was like like it was like a party song it was like weird it was like Katy perry so, so was the first thing that you ever did like a solo rather than like a group dance or did you do group dances first and then got into solos no i was i started solos when i was five and like groups when i was like seven wow it's normally like opposite for people normally you start with groups and then you like yeah. work your way to mm-hmm. solos i feel like this is very fitting for grayson because she just like is like that like solo star dancer so of course you of course you would start with the solo mm-hmm. and not a group dance like 100 percent. okay so coming to project you came so young like yes. you literally were what first year mini yeah, second year, year no first year first yeah, year like, mini and then you won best dancer the next year you're so you, wait 
Yeah, my next year. Yeah, so your second year at Project, you won Best Dancer. Yeah, so my first year at the Dance Awards, I got top 10, and the next year I won. That's crazy. And I didn't even know anything about the Dance Awards, which is crazy, because I went to, like, car and, like, star power. Yeah, Grayson was a really big car girl. <laughs> yeah. Like, even, like, <laughs> like she still was, like, going to Project still. Yeah. Do yeah. you still do that? Yeah, I go, like, once a year. Do you like but it? I, yeah, I like it, but I try to, like get out my solo before nationals and that's why i I usually go there to like just like have a run yeah yeah that's why i just love going there because like just doing your solo and not having to like go take a bunch of classes and like oh yeah it's it's like so like nice like the weekend so much like calmer yeah yeah that Mm -hmm. is fun and you get a crown yeah not like i've ever gotten a crown crown. but like Mm -hmm. i would go to get a crown with me this year okay we're My senior couch. year. <laughs> Wait, I want to talk about a memory I have. My one of my highlights from this year. Like, if I had to pick a highlight from Project Twenty One this year, it's when it was Grayson's birthday at oh Project. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, I know. And we we're in Ricky Maloof's class. Okay. Mm-hmm. We were doing a combo, whatever. And then he was like, Grayson, like, pick two people you want to do the combo with. I'm like, oh, she's going to pick, like, anyone else. She goes, Ken's and Loyla. <laughs> and, you know, we were so honored. We were like, we were like, wow, like, this is a highlight of my dance career. <laughs> like, and then I was like, where's Delaney? Why isn't yes, this being Delaney filmed? Delaney should be here. <laughs> Why isn't this being filmed? Because never in Moila and I's life would we get called out to do a combo <laughs> with Grayson. No. So I was like, where is Delaney filming this? Like, I need video proof of this right now. And I would have posted it in main feed. Ugh. Yeah. We'll try to make it happen. Next time. Like, We're going to do tomorrow. So tomorrow. <sighs> okay, we've got to do tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Mm-hmm. Going back to winning Mini Best Dancer, which is crazy, Mm -hmm. um, what was that experience like for you? I think that, okay, so when I won, I was just very shocked. It was like my second year at TDA and I didn't really know much. But as like, as it like it went on, like I started to love dance like more and more. Mm -hmm. And like the dance world was like, and I think it was like the best experience like of my life. Like I enjoyed doing it so much and just traveling around with my mom and like my siblings. It was just so fun. Like but yeah, just like going to a different state, like state and city, and like yeah. exploring and like yeah. working with all the faculty. Was it stressful? Yeah. Like having to assist or like? I think it was more like I knew that I had pressure. So like when I was up there, like it it was like. It was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Right, right. Speaking of pressure, winning as a mini is, like, crazy. Yeah. So every year you go now, do you feel like that's, like, a, like something you feel, like a weight, like, every single time? I feel like I do. I feel like I have a lot of pressure, and it's, like, a relief when, like, if I get top three, like, I feel like it's a relief because I knew, like, I did my best. But when I don't win, I also feel like it pushes me to do better every year. Yeah. To, like, because I get so close and I feel like every year, like, that makes me want to push harder to, like, yeah. win. Yeah. So, yeah. Does improv in the top ten get easier? Um, because you, like, are more prepared every year, right? Yeah, I, I mean, like I lo- just enjoy <clears throat> it. Because Really? Yeah, like, I... Well, I love improv actually. I don't like when we did it at the studio. No, that's guys. That's so scary. <laughs> when we did it last year... Before TDA, TDA, Grayson like fully like went on the chair. Oh, you <laughs> took out your hair. And I got the aerial. Yeah, like she was doing some wild stuff in the studio. I was like, there is no way she's gonna go on stage at TDA and do this. You no, know, I just had to get it out, you know. Oh, and at the auditions this year, I was like, we do improv at the project like 21 like yeah. audition and Grayson normally goes first but I was like Grayson listen like I'm a senior I'm yeah, going it's, first it's for you, so. yeah and I was like Grayson I'm going first and she's like okay fine and then <laughs> wait you did let me go first right yeah, I did let and you then go I first. you went second and then Loyola or, went wait, third I feel like Loyola went before me though, yeah and then like and then I took some inspo from Grayson and I went to the wall but because <laughs> I was first oh, Grayson yeah. couldn't do it after me so like she like took it from me yeah so. Um, yeah, Ex- literally exactly yeah. <laughs> the prep the prep before tda at the studio is crazy though i feel like she gets us like really ready though. she gets us like, so I feel ready good about my solo. like i, feel good I about was improv. ready to improv even though i was not top 10 bound you know like i was still like yeah ready because like she prepares us so much like doing the improvs like mm-hmm. do you feel like that helps like having like 
things in the back of your mind that like you know you can do like yeah it does help but like also like if i get top 10 like when i'm backstage and have time i just think about like at I'm least wondering. three things like i'm gonna do you like if i blank i'll just whip out into yeah, a I leg these three things yeah I'll, but when i'm back i don't ever plan it but when i'm backstage like i try to think about what i'm gonna do but when i get up there i don't do any of it <laughs> so it's actually just me and probably yeah like legit like yeah. it's not like a choreographed like anything no Okay, so you have been at Project. This is your seventh year now, which yes. is crazy. You've stayed since literally season three. Yeah. What has that been like for you? Like staying so long and like being at one studio for so long? Honestly, I love it. And I love going to dance every day. And I love like having Molly as my teacher. I feel like she pushes me, pushes me so much. But also like... You have to be very committed, I feel yeah. like. Like you don't it's not it's like, not like oh, a go studio for fun, you know? where it's like you have one foot in the door and one foot out. It's like you're it's either like you really all have to be in. committed to dance and yeah. like love it to go yeah. there. And I feel like over the past few years, like I've loved it so much and I feel like this year, like Yeah, Grace is go really going at it this I know, year. I'm like this year, like I love dance so much. Like it's the only thing I she works do. really hard this year. I'm like literally staring well then I we and don't, I'm like in the corner. We don't work as hard as she does. So like during tech technique like um i'll tell you the order it goes so it goes like grayson and sammy they I go first we order now. yeah we do have an order yeah. grayson and sammy go first they go across the floor and then loyla and i go right after them like i go right behind grayson yeah. and then like when we well then i finish grayson's like practicing still on the side while we're standing there watching her practice <laughs> but like still like you're working like, so hard yeah. i work hard when i'm going across the floor to get to the other side <laughs> Like, and then get I put it. all my effort in. Like, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you are working really hard this year. Like, I feel like like this year I'm just really focused with dance and like I'm like I'm excited to go to dance. Like I feel like when I hit the age like 13, I was just kind of like like I feel like that age is usually it when gets kids hard. stop. Yeah, yeah. Cuz it gets hard with school and everything. But like this year like I like always talk to my mom about it. I'm like I'm so excited to go to dance today. Like even if I had like the longest day ever, like I'm like so excited to go and I feel like I've stayed for so many years because I know Molly's like always there to push me and make me grow as a dancer. Yeah. Um why do you think I'm just, back? Cuz I yeah. literally just miss Molly so much yeah. and Grayson. Yeah, I know. Aren't you so I happy was, I'm back? I know, I'm so happy you guys are all back. <laughs> <laughs> Part of staying at a studio for so long is like the people who you dance with and like constantly like being inspired by those around you because like I feel like you can't dance at a studio where it's just like you so like do you feel like you're like constantly inspired by the things happening around you you know yeah I feel like everyone at the studio is like so good and everyone like works so hard and we're all like I feel like we're like a really good team this yeah, year I feel like we are a really good team this yeah, like, year we're all like committed to dance and we all just like have so much fun together and we're not like competitive with each other like yeah. we just want to have fun yeah and, like go to dance and yeah. I feel like a lot of people think like it's like so competitive like but like it's really not but like I'm in like, classes I'm not really competitive really yeah I don't know like you're not like I like have to beat so and so. No, because I okay, so I've like I have these car rides home every night with my dad and he gives me like the best advice and just like if I do my best, that's all I can do. That's so and cute. I can't control like the outcome of it. So That's yeah. so cute. Does your dad like is he invested in dance or is he just like eh? Yeah. <laughs> no. But he knows how much I love it. So. Yeah. He's yeah. just like there for the ride. Yeah, it's like my mom too. He's just like there. But <laughs> yeah. So like going back to like like thirteen, like you like felt like not as inspired with dance how do you deal with like burnout because like going to project for so long it's like it's like going back like it's not a studio where you can have like one foot in the door one foot out like you're yeah. fully invested so like how have you stayed like so motivated for like all these years like you know and like how do you deal with burnout i feel like i remember when i got burnout out the age of 13 i had like a lot of talks with molly about it because like i just like did not want to come like i was just like stressed about school and everything going on and i feel like molly like saved like she like saved me from yeah. like loving dance again and yeah. she's like a she's really like, good person to talk yeah, to she's really she's like my she, therapist like, I'm like, no me like, too sometimes in my privacy i start like screaming about things and like <laughs> i feel like bad oh we don't need to talk, yeah, about, need to talk that. about that <laughs> but like i like start like like literally like ranting to her about stuff and like she literally like tells me like what to do yeah just good advice yeah she gives good advice and good corrections too yeah she does 
<laughs> what from all the time you've been there what is like some of your favorite memories that you've made oh i literally can think of one right off the top of my head and i'm yeah, really offended no. you're not saying it yet wait wait i think i know what you're thinking about the alien superstar no think about what that. i'm thinking about our group dance called childhood oh my god <laughs> How do you forget about Wait, our this? Dance was so clean. So I never forgot about it. It was that a dance. Da- it was the it's, counts we had for that dance. It was. It's it was definitely. Stressful. It's the smallest group dance you possibly can have <laughs> yeah. because a trio was three people yeah. and this group dance consisted of four people yeah i don't know how it existed i don't know how we did that i don't know and how we did good and we did okay it was me the twins and grayson it yeah. was just the four of us on the stage <laughs> so basically you had to dance with the couch sisters you're the only person who yeah, can say that only one. yeah you're literally and that's the closest the twins and i've ever gone to a trio too but yeah, it was just too. like plus you yeah. like that's so crazy that's, oh my god and i remember like Guys, we literally got first overall every, like every time. single time. Like it, was, it was really we, clean. It was. Remember when we had to be up at like it was like five a.m. Like this dance like feels like unreal to me. Yeah, I know. But I remember we were in rehearsal, and then they were like, "Oh, we're gonna do a an adulthood when Ken's is a senior." And oh do you remember? Gosh. I do remember that. Like it was like a conversation, and now I'm a senior, and I'm like, "Why aren't we recreating this dance?" Oh my gosh, wait, we should. And Molly, <laughs> Molly. Should make it like a jazz one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like instead of contemporary instrumental, we do adulthood. Yeah. Jazz edition. Jazz, yeah. Oh wow. Oh, we would win everywhere. <laughs> we win in the senior category. Yeah, yeah, senior category. Wow, like that's like such a highlight of my Project Twenty One experience. Yeah, childhood. Yeah. Okay, what are some some of your actual ha- memories um what are your some of your favorite group dances i would say probably mambo number five yeah it was like That's such an ago. iconic dance and i feel like people are like re- like doing dances like that that like now yeah like people are like was, copying molly now yeah with our hats but if not that one, probably our one. I love all of ours this year. Yeah, I our really dance. I actually really do like our I, dances yeah, this like year. Them. Yeah, and like I feel like it's like I don't feel rushed this year. Yeah, like no, to I feel finish like everything. Like everyone's like taking their time and like yeah. not like being like oh we need to have it finished by this time. Like we're yeah. just like taking our time, getting everything like learned really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going good. So basically, we have a Korean mm-hmm. Choi dance. And, and so like me and kids were like in the middle you know and, and we have a duet. duet it's actually pretty and, good like, you guys just have to stay tuned like yeah, it's just, wild yeah it's so and we're like <laughs> yeah we just like slay like i don't even know how else to yes. describe it okay give us a day in the life of oh grace in french <laughs> um okay so i go from i go to school from 8 30 to 3 30 what time do you wake um, up 7 20 oh wow yeah. um so first I have, to, I have to drop off like all my siblings and then you all go to different schools yeah oh wow yeah so i have to leave like really early um so i go to school 8 30 to 3 30 that's like long well okay. not for you is that long for you i end at 4 45 but <laughs> oh <I'm> just kidding <laughs> wait don't you have dance though or is that not is that on every day no no i do have dance every day but my oh. school ends at 215 so yeah like your school oh, so is yeah, longer than kinda, mine yeah we have like 180 minutes of each period oh which are is you like, like counting long. the minutes every time you're there well i mean i'm always looking at the clock but i'm not like <laughs> counting the minutes um wait no 120 minutes okay 120 180. minutes okay it's 120 minutes <laughs> and um after you end actually, school after i end school we have like this cargo thing it's like me and like three other kids that go to the studio and like we switch off every day because my mom's really busy and has to take my siblings to like volleyball and stuff so um we do a carpool they take a really big van oh yeah we took a van it's like i was like this morning i was staring at it and i was like wow because there was yeah, like literally 20 of you in the car yeah i know it was never ending was, getting out of the car this car. morning <laughs> wait do you all guys go to the same school that you carpool with no right you just live near no. each other yeah we just like all live like in the same area so we meet up somewhere and then we go to dance and we end at like a different like, time every night well yeah it depends because usually it's 9 30 or 9 or 10 it just like depends yeah it just keeps going you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah okay going back to school so do you go to a real school or are you homeschooled 
I go to a real school and I love going to like regular school because mm. I was homeschooled for a year and it was just like I don't remember really like learning anything because I was always like I was always doing dance so I like don't remember really learning that much but I feel like this year like I've learned so much and I love going to school every day yeah Grayson loves school yeah she, actually I do you love talking about school too yeah I do do you like like having the separation of like being able to go to school hang out with like normal people who don't dance and then come to yeah. dance and like hang out with all of your dance friends yeah but I, I really like my school friends but I think dance friends are just better oh my god <laughs> you think you think your school friends are better um, well my main oh. one friend goes to my school and she goes oh, to our oh, dance Loyla, studio oh, yeah. Loyla, no, she think... goes to school with me and dance with me so like i really can't talk on this subject i just feel like i'm closer with like my dance friends mm. like i'm close to my school friends yeah. but i feel like because we all you, dance like, together yeah. like we all know it's each like other a good. bond like no other yeah those weekend rehearsals are like yep. no other yeah, we're all going through it we're all this going through it at one time yeah okay so you obviously have really close dance friends yes. who besides me and Loyla, because like we're like a, we're tight yeah we're tight like that yeah. um would you say it's like your person at the studio i would definitely say stella eberts she's like she's like like actually like the best one i could ever have she's like been there for me so through cute. like everything and she's just like She's such an amazing person. She's, like, so, I like, nice. Like, she's such, like, like a genuinely, so nice. like, nice person. Yeah, she is. Who's just, like, actually just, like, there to dance. And, like, she just, like, doesn't even care about, like, anything else, I feel like. Yeah, she's, like, my twin. Like, it's just, I love her so much. And, like, I hope she sees this so she knows how much I love her. Because I feel like there's, not, there's no, like, words to explain how much I love her. Like, I just, like, really do. I feel yeah. like that's, like, you with Lola, though. Yeah. You just, like, can't really explain. You but, can't, yeah. like, explain it. Like, you just, like, have, like, a bond to a person. Yeah yeah and she's wait do you guys graduate the same year no. no like she's gonna graduate a year before you right yeah are you gonna be so sad yeah i would be really sad like i wouldn't even know what to do but then but i also don't know if i want to be a super senior though because i can be a super senior oh because yours is like your your age is like you would do senior for three years yeah but I'm like the I'm like the youngest one in like but my you, category. But you're saying like you want to do senior for two years. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think three. Yeah. Because like that's like a lot. Into like, yeah. So oh I see. So you're like really young for your for my category. Like I'm for really your young. competition age. But, I'm old but then in you're school. old for your grade. Yeah. So that makes you like behind like behind in dance. Behind in dance. Yeah oh because like you should be graduating high school when you graduate dance but you graduate dance before you graduate high school you this sound very confusing but yeah <laughs> <laughs> no because you're only supposed to be in the senior category for two years but then yeah, some people end some up people, doing it for three years yeah but i'm only doing it for two years out of there <laughs> do you have like at your school like football games and cheerleaders and all that stuff yeah i do um we have football games like every other friday do you I go think, no why well, it depends because they just get boring towards the end because like our team's like really good so, really like, good they, yeah they always win oh so you're just they're like and eh, they're gonna win yeah they're gonna win do you have, they always win does your school have a dance like team or like song yeah they have song and you just like don't do it no have you ever been like interested in like doing song yeah i do want to do it but i just i don't i don't know yeah it's very like I feel like it just it's like seems boring. Yeah, it like seems like it would get repetitive. It. Yeah, it, it, it feels look like it would anything. be like fun for like a week, like a football game. Yeah, a football game, and then you're over it. Yeah, and then you're over it. Yeah. So like, yeah. But could you see yourself like doing that like your senior year of high school? Yeah, probably senior year. Like that, like but, something fun to do like your yeah. last year. But yeah. like as of right now, like you're good, not no, doing. No, I'm okay. Some- yeah, I'm okay with it. <laughs> That's great. You are the oldest sibling, right? Yes. What is it like being the oldest? to two younger siblings i feel like it's hard because i feel like i have like a lot of expectations because like i know my siblings they like look up to me and stuff and i always want to be like the best like older sibling but it's they're well my one sister i'm really close with her because she's thir- she's 13 she's gonna turn 14 but we're just really close and you're like kind of close in age yeah we are close like only like 14 like months apart oh my god and it's then, exactly me and the twins we're 14 months actually, apart yeah so oh, we're like so exactly weird. Oh, that's, that's weird. weird. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. Um, yeah. yeah, so you're just like striving to be the best, best sibling. Yeah. 
so when you were younger you did a lot of like the LA stuff like my sisters did like Old Navy commercials and you did like Dancing with the Stars which yeah. is so cool so one what are some of your like memories from that and like experience experiences that you gained from that okay so my first like ever job that I got I think it was I think I did an Old Navy commercial and I and I auditioned for it and like I definitely did not think I was gonna get it were you like but a dancer yeah, we have to, like, dance, like, for two eight counts, just improv, like, in a line. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, I remember I did one, and, like, I loved it, and I thought it was so fun. And then I kind of just, like, kept, like, going to L.A. to do, like, auditions and stuff. So, I ended up doing, like, five old Navy commercials. And then I went on Dancing with the Stars when I was, like, eight or nine, and it was so fun. And it was, like, so cool to meet everyone because I've always, like, watched Dancing with the Stars since I was little. So it was, like, cool being on there. And then I was also on This Is Us. Like, it was, like, a ballet. Like, it was, like, this girl, like, growing up. And, like, she, like, did ballet, like, her whole life. And Oh, was so we Campbell had, like, there, too? I think she was. Like, yeah. just talked about this. Literally last week. Actually? Yeah. That she, like, was, like, a ballerina on This Is Us. Oh, yeah. We were, like, ballerinas. We had to learn this thing. We are like, in the background of it. And, was it like, hard? Yeah, because I was not good at ballet. Do you like ballet? <laughs> yeah, actually, I do. I like, I actually like going. I think it's fun. I don't like going. I like, like my so. little corner I have. Because I go in, like, the corner because there's, like, two mirrors. So I can, like, focus on myself more instead of, like going like front and center yeah because i just want to like focus on myself and ballet more and not then, like yeah. yeah yeah i also i remember me and the um me and the twins we did a jojo video oh my god yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so fun and you um, did like multiple with her yeah no i did one with her oh but it was so fun i remember how there was like a whole like a bar of just like candy and like me and wait it was mick me i think it was me and katie and, like we got in trouble because we were just eating candy <laughs> when they were filming and i was supposed to be in that but that was really fun to do doing jobs in la is literally so fun but it's like also yeah. like so t- time consuming because like it's we don't far. live like anywhere near yeah, la no. so it's like a whole day journey to like yeah, go it like do it day. do an audition yeah. so it's not really like manageable to do right now like yeah. on top like school and dance, dance yeah. yeah but is like that something you could see yourself doing in the future or like is that something you want to do in the future i think do you want to do that stuff in the future i feel like it sounds like pretty fun because i've had so i've had so much fun with it so i would like to continue doing that but like in the future yeah not like right now yeah not anytime soon (laughs) okay speaking of future you're definitely still young but like what are your post high school plans if you have any I feel like I haven't really thought about that that much, which I should probably think about it, (laughs) but I definitely, I do want to go to college and I really want to go to USC for dance and I would love to move to LA for it too. And you would have to move to LA. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me know. Okay. Well, yeah. So I, I would love to move to LA and then I also want to, I do want to stay in California because yeah. I always stay close with like around my family. Yeah. And I love California. Yeah. So I definitely will stay like around like here. Yeah. But I also, after that, I also would love to open like a dance studio or have something to do with dance. Boyle uh, and I are taking over project so you can, wait, we'll so, hire you. Wait, actually? Yeah. Wait, actually? Yeah. No way. Wait. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. You can be like one of the Monday guest teachers. Wait, guest teachers? No, I'm <laughs> permanent. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, okay, this is awkward. We might have to yeah, work this out this later because <laughs> I thought she was a Monday rotating teacher, but Grayson thought she was a permanent yeah, I'm faculty. Permanent. Yeah, I'm permanent every Thursday. Yeah. Okay, these are listener questions. So they're straight from the listener. Okay. Not the listener. Or the viewers, the fans, if you will. Okay. Okay. Who is your biggest influence? Um... I would probably say, wait, for dance or just like, like life? Any, I would say Taylor Swift because I feel like she's so like, she's like, like, like an icon. Yeah, she's like everywhere, I feel like. Paige always and tells me that. Um, I look like her. Yeah. She literally always tells me how like her boyfriend thinks that you look oh, yeah, like her. <laughs> you do kind of look like her. That's like the biggest compliment. I love her. And I, I've always looked up to her since I was young. And I love her music. Do you go to the concert? No, me and my mom were trying to go. I think we're gonna go. Wait, there's one next year in November for like Miami. 
And you think you're going to go? Yeah, I think I'm going to go. Okay. Yeah. If you could have any duet partner mm-hmm. in the world to do a duet with, who would it be? Um, I would say probably like Tate McRae. Yeah, she's really she's good. She's really good. And her music, have you listened to her new album? Didn't we just do a combo to it? Yeah, but like her whole her whole album. No. It's really good. I love her new album. Yeah, and she was really she was good. good. She was, yeah, she's like good at everything. Really good. Yeah, she's good. What is a strength of yours and what is a weakness of yours? I would say probably my legs. Or They're my, very good. Or my back. Also very good. Um, but your back has been hurting. Yeah, my back's been hurting really bad. I don't know really what's going bad. on. Like, and like, we've been having, oh my God, we've been having to do these like core exercises because Grayson's back hurts. And that thing. Oh we, my gosh, that hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Oh, it hurts really bad. It hurts so bad. But oh we're doing gosh. it because like a lot of people have been complaining their back, the back hurts. Yeah. Oh, it hurts really bad. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to okay. doing it on Tuesday. But also, I always, like, stand like this. And Paige is like, that's probably the thing. Like, you know, I need so to, like... So, it's, like, something you know you need to, to work yeah, on. But it's, like, a habit. So, like, I need to do something about it. Get, like, one of those so, yeah. back braces. Oh, my God. Wait, Speaking of Taylor Swift, do you see my shirt? It's me. Oh. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. It's from Taylor Swift. Yeah, I was looking at that. I was like, why does it look familiar? My mom got it for me because she Cute. thinks I'm a problem. <laughs> My weakness, probably my strength. And like, like, I get it. Like, like, I get that. Yeah. Like, like going okay. back to, like, the back hurting, like, using your core. Yeah, like, I'm not good at that. <laughs> like, I'm really not good at that. <laughs> like, if we do any lifts, like, I'm, like, dead weight. Or yeah, because like, she broke the couch in the kids' room. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> it actually wasn't Grayson, but... Yeah, actually, I'm shocked about that. Yeah, everyone shocked about it, but it wasn't yeah, Grayson. It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she does give all of her weight. Speaking of our mm-hmm. duet, you know, I have to give her all my weight. And you would give oh, me the yeah. opposite, but yeah. it's not. Wait, I'm doing pretty good, though. Yeah. yeah I'm always like, don't fall and over. I'm not laughing. Yeah, because you don't I'm look just, at me. No, I do look at you. Sometimes I look at you, but sometimes <laughs> I just cannot do it. Oh my god. Okay, so you've like competed a lot and you've yeah. won a lot and you've like been in the competition spotlight a lot. So what is some of your advice like for people who compete or if they're like just starting, like how to deal with all of that? I feel like you just have to be very like committed and like well but also like if you want to do it like for fun like i get that because some people aren't like competitive and like they just want to do it like for fun which i get yeah um but i'm like i feel like i'm more like chill about it because i think i've done it for so long and i just really enjoy doing it and just like not not caring about like what you get but like doing your yeah, best just doing my best that's like that's what do. you like if you had to pick one what has been your favorite season at project 21 so oh. far honestly i think all of them have been like amazing and but i would say probably my first season season three because it was a s- I, such a good season it was a good season and i feel like i learned a lot and i knew what stop the clock was and how I got all that <laughs> and i just it was like really new for me though because yeah, like, i just like did dance for fun so many new things that year yeah yeah like, i was just doing it for fun like i wasn't like competitive or anything and i like we had like, a lot of like such like sleigh group dances too yeah, that did. year they were good. They really were good, good. Oh, we had childhood that year. Yes. Oh, that was my first season. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so weird to think about. I just feel like being so young and, like, not knowing anything can almost sometimes, like, be, like be a blessing in disguise yeah. because you're just, like, going out there, like, l- having the time of your life, like, also, like, still stress because, like, Molly, yeah. like, literally will tell you if you're doing it wrong. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> but, like, you, like, are just, like, having the time of your life and, like, you don't have any clue of what's going on. But, like, now yeah. as we've gotten older, like, there's a lot of, like, outside influence of, like, people talking and, like, da 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 And, like, that gets yeah. hard. Yeah, Like, I feel like hard. I can't even imagine being you. Like, <laughs> I, like, don't even know how you do it. I don't know how to do it either. Like, you, like, didn't have Instagram for a while, right? You no. didn't. Like, no. your mom, like, only had it. And, like, yeah, you didn't. I, like, never wanted it. Like, I didn't want to deal with it. I did not like social media. Like, that's still so don't. much for the better. I still don't like yeah, it. Yeah, like, you're not, like, reading your comments and, like, so invested. Yeah, no, no. You're just, like, whatever. I'm just, like, I love to dance. Okay, Grayson. I always ask my guests this, okay? Yeah. A pro and a con of me. Oh. Oh. A pro? 
is probably um i feel like you're just like you're like good at like everything like, really? I feel like you're like perfect. Okay. Like, okay. like, like, Ken just Calm like, down. I'm like, she's just like, she's Calm like down. good at everything and she's like really good, like, at this. I feel like you've grown so much this year, too. Yeah. Like, like when I watched you in Corey and Troy class, it's like, like so like, different than so last good. year. Yeah. Thank you. No, you were good last year, too. I was just like, like I was just like there last year. Yeah, you're kind of just like, en- like enjoying it, you know? Yeah. I feel like this year, like, you, she's got like so much better. Thanks, Grayson. There's no con. Okay. Okay, there's no con. <laughs> Normally I do merch, but Grayson already has her merch repping it. It's so cute. And she needs it's to so sign cute. the board. In front of them? No. Like I was later. Like, see my butt. I don't think you want to see it. <laughs> but I'm literally so grateful you came. Thank you for It's like me. one of my new favorite episodes. I know, we've been planning this. Yeah, and like Just finally, finally, finally you came. I know, finally. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for Grace and for coming. <laughs> and I will see you guys next week with a very special guest. So stay tuned. <laughs> Bye.